All right, Nerd Lost Live coming to you from Southern California here. Happy Thursday, August 30th, 2018. I was just about to do a video on John McCain not allowing uh, Trump to his funeral. John McCain does not want Trump at his funeral. And it just came out the last couple of days that uh, McCain doesn't want Sarah Palin there either. Hello. <laughs> You know, people can talk about, uh, I, well, I did a video the other day called uh, uh, John McCain, Hero or Villain? Take a look at that. I have over 3,000 videos I've done on social media platforms like YouTube and Facebook. You can see all that and more at my website and linked at DarylLawson.com. Yeah. And I've done videos on McCain before. And I just did one this, uh, yeah, this week. <clears throat> and I've done one a month or two ago, et cetera, et cetera. When I first found out that McCain uh, didn't want Trump at his funeral. I thought, what the? The best U.S. president, Donald Trump, in 150 years, and you don't want him at your funeral? I mean, if McCain was really the hero and the brainiac of brainiacs and, you know, cutting edge politician, blah, 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 Senator, you think he would, he would have known that? Trump is the best U.S. president in 150 years. Yeah, almost 150 years. You got to go back to like 1871. So what is that? 147 years. So I just rounded off 150 years. Yeah, but he can do what he wants, and he's not around anymore either. But when I first heard that McCain said that Trump couldn't go to his, uh, you know, Trump, uh, Trump was uh, not the best buddies of McCain, <laughs> and they fought all the time, which uh, you know tells you a lot. It, it, you know. Trump is not a politician. Now he's a politician, but never. And it wasn't a councilman, wasn't a mayor, wasn't governor. Goes for the presidency, boom, becomes the president. And that, you know, it's kind of irk McCain because McCain tried everything under the sun to become president, right? <clears throat> and he didn't make it, boom. Uh, Obama comes in in, 20, in 2008. It must be a sore spot. <laughs> this billionaire businessman never holds political office before comes in and becomes president. Hello, has that ever been done before in recent history? I don't think so, not in the U.S. Like I said over and over, you know, U.S. presidents aren't elected anyways. If you do the study, uh, U.S. presidents are selected. All right, selected, not elected. Yeah, so that must bug McCain, but I'm not doing a video on uh, McCain and his funeral and disinviting or not inviting Trump. Actually, Trump's barred from going there and Palin. I mean, didn't McCain have a running mate in 2008, Sarah Palin? If anybody should have been at the funeral, Sarah Palin should be there. But the last couple of days, no, Sarah Palin can't go, according to the McCain family and uh, John McCain's instructions. John McCain instructed his people that Sarah Palin couldn't be at the funeral. What, is that crazy? Now, I'm not doing a video on that. The video I'm going to do today is really, uh, well, I mean, it's, it's almost, uh, it was almost a toss-up on the videos today, except when I read that uh, Trump's blasting Google today. I just, had to, I just had to switch my topic, and I'm going to talk about Trump says Google snubbed his State of the Union speeches while promoting Obama. I mean, that, that, that is hot news. That's right off the press. I mean, that's right hot off the front burner. <laughs> so I was going to talk about the big snub from McCain against Trump, which... We've been hearing that for months, but then only yesterday or the day before information came out that Sarah Palin couldn't go. I mean, hello. You can tell a lot about somebody by their friends. Yeah. And uh, when McCain wants Obama, Obama, the worst president in U.S. history, McCain wants Obama to do his eulogy. What? What are you, nuts? And then sharing it with George Bush, George W. Bush. <laughs> The man in charge of letting down this country on 9-11. Oh, yeah. I, I could go into that, but I won't. And I was going to do the video on this big snub, but I thought, nah, I'm going to talk about Trump blasting Google. Uh, so I'll just put it to bed about, uh, really, it's a shame about McCain. I mean, even from the grave, he's still being stubborn. Yeah. Wow. Hello. <laughs> And McCain wants the Antichrist, Obama, to do a speech, his, the eulogy, at his funeral? What's wrong with that picture? All right, you get my point? Yeah. Sarah Palin took the high road. Uh, uh, I think before even Sarah Palin knew that she wasn't invited or she was actually barred. Sarah Palin was barred from the funeral. 
But I think it's happening on Saturday. Now there's uh, different uh, events going on today. And uh, people paying their respects through speeches online, this, that, and the other, and in public places. His body's being transported to different places, McCain's body. Uh, uh, and then Saturday's the big, uh, the big funeral, yeah. But even before, I think, uh, the news came out that Sarah Palin was barred from going. Barred, yeah. <laughs> Banned from going to McCain's funeral. Sarah Palin came out with a beautiful, uh, respectful uh, paragraph or two about John McCain. It, it, it was nice. But then the information came out. Sarah Palin. McCain's people says Sarah Palin can't go to the funeral. Well, that's McCain's family and McCain's laws. Yeah. <laughs> How can you lose so much before you die and lose after you die? Yeah, well, anyway. That's what happens when people are blind spiritually. Yeah. And the best president, like I said, the best president in U.S. history is barred from McCain's uh, funeral. The best president, Trump's the best president and is barred from the funeral. But the worst president in U.S. history is allowed to go do the eul eulogy? Figure that one out. It's called blindness. Spiritual blindness. Yeah. Say what you want. I know what I know. Yeah. Well, I mean... Jesus said, hey, the world can't really hate you, John 7, 7, if you're a believer. But it does hate Jesus. It hates me, Jesus said, because I accuse it of doing evil. John 15, 18, if the world hates you, Trump, <laughs> remember that it hated me first. You know, Trump's a born-again, spirit-filled Christian. You know, I did a video, what was it, uh, yesterday. You can pull up all my videos on my YouTube channel, my Facebook pages. I did a video yesterday called on YouTube, Holy Spirit Trump State Dinner at the White House 2018. Yeah. Uh, last Monday, Monday night, last Monday of this week. So today is the 30th. So that was 29, 28, 27, 27th. Yeah. Look at my calendar. 27th is Monday. Uh, Monday night. So August 27th, 2018, if you're looking for the information. I have the links on my, on my video called Holy Spirit Trump State Dinner. I mean, you got people that love Jesus, filled with the Holy Spirit, born again, scripture, but believing, doing people. Uh, Trump's holding a, you know, and, and like James Dobson said, uh, who is the founder of Focus on the Family, he said this is the greatest meeting he's ever seen at the White House. Greatest meeting, greatest spiritual meeting he's ever seen. And he said he served under five presidents. And Trump, who has these meetings at the White House best ever, five presidents and beyond, is, is banned from McCain's funeral? But, but Obama, the Antichrist, is doing the eulogy? Figure that one out. It's, it's really, it's, it's, just, it's just good versus evil. But I'm not talking about that today. I really want to get into uh, <laughs> uh, Trump today. Really blasting Google. Now, I like this because I've been saying this for a while that I think it's on Trump's heart to really come against censorship and more with these big companies that try to control social media uh, outlets like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, yeah. And I, I said this the other day. I pulled it up. Let me see here. Uh, I did it on August 20th, 2018 on YouTube. I called my video Trump to punish social media censorship. Now, I, I knew that this was on his heart because he had been saying this. P President Trump has been saying that, hey, this is not fair. They shouldn't be doing this. There shouldn't be censorship. You might not like what people say, but you shouldn't, you shouldn't censor, censor them. That's what President Trump was saying against Google, against YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. And a lot now has uh, been coming up almost daily on this subject, and it, it's come up today even against Google. Now, I typed in uh, something just very simple online, who owns Google? All right, who owns Google? Well, they don't give you a, a straight answer on the Internet when it comes up, because Google's probably spitting out the answers and wants to hide. You find out uh, headlines like Alphabet Company. The Alphabet parent company, the blah, 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 owns Google. Okay, who owns Alphabet? <laughs> All right, and, and it's very difficult to find. But I pulled up an article that I had found uh, just before I started this video called uh, How the CIA Made Google. Oh, in your face, how the CIA made, made Google? 
It's an article that came out in 2015, 2015. Uh, it's on a website called medium.com. And it is amazing. It's a very in-depth part two, part two series on uh, the CIA made Google. So I'll, I'll, I'll put this mathematical equation together. When Trump attacks Google, Trump is, is attacking the corruption at the CIA. And who runs the CIA? Does the U.S. government run the CIA? No. A, the deep state, a new world order, runs the CIA. Actually, it's the Vatican. The Jesuits run the CIA. So the CIA is a operation that runs in the U.S. They say they don't you know, really operate here much. They operate around the world. Central Intelligence Agency. But it's really controlled by the Vatican. It's a foreign government within the U.S. Yeah. And this article is amazing. I'm going to read a little bit from it. It's called How the CIA Made Google. Yeah. What the? So I love this because when I see Trump says, says today, Google snubbed his State of the Union speeches while promoting Obama. Well, you should say Trump says the CIA. Or you could even, well, when you, the CIA is in bed with the NSA and all these other agencies. So you could say the U.S. intelligence agencies have snubbed Trump, right? It's interchangeable. Google, CIA, NSA. And you could say, well, they're, you know, you said that the CIA was for, foreign, it was a foreign government, was foreign government controlled. Yes. But the CIA controls, I believe, all the other uh, U.S. Intel, uh, intelligence branches. Intelligence branches, yeah. Just saying, Bob. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to read from this article, a little bit from the article, CNBC.com, about Trump says talking about Google, really exposing Google. Then there's another one here, Axios.com, another great article. Trump rages against fake everything. Oh, I love it. Now, Trump has been keeping his eye on the censorship and the unfairness and the and the conservatives, conservatives and Christians being attacked on social media outlets online. He said, I've been watching you. I've been keeping my eye on you. Now he's just pulling out the double barrel shotgun <laughs> against this crazy censorship. And uh, really, it's, it's the deep state that has been attacking Trump and Christians and the conservatives in the U.S. and around the world. And Trump's fighting them back now and is really going after them. Going, Trump like a shark. <laughs> is the shark month over? Shark week? Yeah. Trump's like a shark going after, like Jaws going after Google today. So I'll read some of this. Oh, but I want, I want to read some of the article here on how the CIA made Google. It says, inside the secret network behind mass surveillance, endless war, and Skynet. There's two parts. I'm not going to read it all. I'm just going to just read a little headline right here. It's called Insurge Intelligence. A new crowd-funded investigative journalism project breaks the exclusive story of how the United States intelligence community funded, nurtured, and incubated Google. Told you. The United States intelligence community funded, nurtured, and incubated Google. So who's behind Google? Who? You say, well, who owns Google? You could say, who runs Google now? Well, it says here that Google was formed by the U.S. government, intelligence agencies. And who runs them, Bob? Because it's not the American people. The United States intelligence community funded, nurtured, and incubated Google. So you put this in perspective on how Trump's attacking Google today. And I've been posting uh, what Trump has been posting online. I've been reposting his post. <laughs> Incubated Google is part of a drive to dominate the world through control of information. We're not talking about private companies here. We're talking about government entities, U.S. government and deep state New World Order entities. Controlling Google. Making Google. Controlling Google. Using Google. Yeah. In the U.S. and around the world. Really, the Vatican controls the New World Order. 
Oh, to dominate the world. Kind of sounds like New World Order stuff to me. Through control of information. Seed funded by the NSA. Money. Money. Seed funded. Money. Money funded by the NSA and the CIA. NSA, CIA. NSA, CIA. And the others. Google was merely the first among a plethora of private sector startup startups co-opted in bed by the U.S. intelligence communities, or you could say the government, or the New World Order, it all works, to retain information superiority. Oh, my, my, my. Origins of this strategy trace back to a secret Pentagon-sponsored group. It even goes further than that. It goes back to the Vatican. The Pentagon is totally corrupt. Department of Justice, the Department of Defense, corrupt. FBI corrupt. Do, do we not know the FBI is totally corrupt? I mean, by now, I mean Robert Mueller, rep, you know, a former representative of the FBI. I mean, who in the FBI is not corrupt? Who in the CIA is not corrupt? People, it seems like that aren't corrupt, end up fleeing to different countries to get protected by Russia. Just saying, Bob. Origins of the strategy trace back to a secret Pentagon-sponsored group. I'm talking about Google here. The creation of Google. That for the last 20 years, two decades, has functioned as a bridge between the U.S. government and the elites across the business, across the business, industry, finance, corporate, and media sectors. And you say Amazon, too? Yeah. The group has allowed some of the most powerful special interests in corporate America to systematically circumvent democratic, democratic accountability and the rule of law to influence government policies as well as public opinion in the U.S. and around the world. Google's a puppet for the U.S. government, really for the Vatican. The results have been catastrophic. NSA mass surveillance, a permanent state of global war, and a new initiative to transform the U.S. military into Skynet, etc., etc., and like I said, there's part one and part two. And I'm going to link this in my video today. Yeah. Okay, back to Trump. Let me read this one. I like this article's headline. You can tell a lot about an article by its headline. Yeah. I mean, some people, they jumble the headlines. It's like, spit it out, man. <laughs> All right, CNBC.com. Trump says Google. Oh, who created Google? Snubbed. Tr Trump says Google snubbed him. Snubbed his State of the Union speeches while promoting Obama's. Best president, worst president. If Google is, is promoting the worst president, what does that say about Google? Yeah. Deep state, new world order, corrupt. <laughs> and C CNBC says, oh, but it turns out that's wrong. No, it's not wrong. <laughs> Google said that it did not promote... Pre that it didn't. That it did promote. Pre oh, Google says it did promote Trump. <laughs> oh, ask Google. Google said if Google said they did, then they did. <laughs> Google says that it did promote Trump's State of the Union ad address in 2018, countering a video that Trump tweeted out yesterday, saying it didn't. Oh, I love the fact that Trump will go toe to toe with these deep state New World Order, I mean, crazy companies. Yeah. Trump's video appeared to show that Google promoted Barack Obama's State of the Union speeches on its homepage, but did not promote his in the same way. I believe Trump's right. <laughs> the videos are doubling down on the accusations of Google anti-conservative bias. Love it. Google says it did promote Trump. Wah, wah, wah. And then Google has hashtag stop the bias. Oh, no, this is Trump. This, this, is, uh, this is Trump saying stop the bias. I thought they were mocking Trump. Google says it did promote President Trump's State of the Union speech on its homepage, on its homepage in 2018, countering a video Trump tweeted alongside the hashtag stop the bias. <laughs> President Trump continued his accusations about Google's anti-conservative bias. Yeah, good. By tweeting a video that appeared to show how Google promoted Bar Barack Obama's State of the Union 
speeches on its homepage during his presidency, while skip, skipping the same promotion for Trump's speech in 2017 and 2018. I agree. I agree. The president's latest statements reflect the broader view among conservatives. How about Christian? That digital platforms like Google, Facebook, and Twitter are censoring them? Yes, yes, yes. And as, and as calls for regulation against those platforms heat up in government, they need to be regulated. Oh, yeah. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, these online uh, social media outlets that are basically, you know, even Google, they need to be, they need to be monitored. They need to be regulated because they, they have proven that they can't regulate themselves. They're going to monitor themselves? Oh, we'll monitor ourselves. It sounds like the Pope. And the Catholic priest monitoring their own sexual abuses. <laughs> oh, we'll take care of it. Uh, uh, we'll send you to a retreat to go fast and pray. And they, they should be in jail. Monitoring themselves? That's stupid. Yeah. Of course they need to be regulated by somebody outside their own organization. Yeah. Oh, my, 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 my. And Google, I mean, why would, you know, Google's freaking out. I love it because people are going, hey. Now now people inside the government are calling for uh, more and more scrutiny against these, well, against these uh, government entities, really, if you think about it. If Google was created by the government, was Facebook? Who owns YouTube? Google owns YouTube. So if Google is the government, then YouTube's the government. Is Facebook the government too? Is Mark Zuckerberg just a, a puppet front, you know, face? Probably, yeah. <laughs> it says there's no dispute that Google did in fact promote Obama's speeches in 2012 to 2016 based on images from the Wayback Machine. Uh. Wednesday's, uh, Wednesday's tweet follows Trump's statement the day before that Google has, quote, rigged news stories and results to favor negative coverage about him from left-leaning outlets. I believe, of course. I mean, you try to type in anything positive uh, for Trump or against Trump's enemies, and the Google searches, and, and a lot of these search engines will pull up all the, uh, you call them left-leaning, I just say deceptive website articles, but the alternative media is nowhere to be found. You gotta, you gotta dig deep even just to find a Fox News article, unless you type in Fox News article on this. But if you just type in Trump and something positive about him, you'll get all negative, negative, negative. And the alternative media, that's that's anti mainstream media, anti fake news. It's buried somewhere. Today is Trump tweets. Uh, well, uh, Wednesday's tweet follows Trump's statement the day before that Google has rigged news stories. Of course. They say the indictment appeared to be based on an unscientific report by a conservative news site. Oh, it's unscientific when it's on a conservative news site. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I mean, CNBC. I mean, they're funded by the New World Order, by the government. And just because Trump is the president of the government, president of the U.S., doesn't mean he runs the government. Oh, no. Because, like, 98, 90% of the government is, of the U.S. government is corrupt. Yeah, but Trump's in their way. Trump is a hindrance to the New World Order in the U.S. Congress and the U.S. government. Sure. My, my, my. Anyways, I'm bringing up uh, articles here uh, on Google and screenshots of Google promoting Obama. Live. Watch. Obama. State of the Union. Blah, 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 blah. President Obama's final State of the Union. Blah, 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 blah. Then, Google's homepage about Trump's State of the Union is not there. None of the handful of snapshots of Google's homepage currently archived in the Wayback Machine from the day of President Trump's 2018 speech featured a YouTube link. Oh, yeah. So, they were always, Google was promoting o Obama, but not Trump. I agree. I agree. They did find a link. On the, it says here's the here. However, the link is there on this screenshot dated the day after his speech. <laughs> sure it was. <laughs> sure it was. <laughs> the day after. Oh, but you can't tell it's coming up. No.
update, the story has been changed to reflect the fact that the Wayback Machine does not include an archive snapshot showing that Google advertised President Trump's 2018 State of the Union speech, but it's dated one day after the speech occurred. What? <laughs> the story has been changed to reflect the fact that the Wayback Machine does include an archive snapshot showing that Google advertised President Trump's 2018. Oh, so they had to be careful that the Wayback Machine was actually correct, giving both sides of the story. Uh, but it's a fact. Google suppresses the truth and gives the fake news more than anything. Yeah. They never advertised before. Uh, why would Google, after the speech, why would Google, after the, the president's tw uh, 2018 State of the Union speech, why would Google, after the speech, promote his speech? Why would Google promote... President Trump's State of the Union speech after his speech. That, I mean, that shows how stupid Google is and how demonic they are. I believe Google uh, is part of the deep state, part of the corrupt part of the U.S. government and uh, the Vatican and, 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 and Jesuit run. Uh, but even, even, I'll add to that, I believe all of that plus, I believe it's the beast system. It's the mark of the beast system. I believe Google is part, if not the main foundation of the mark of the beast system, which the Antichrist will use to put the 666 uh, and the computer connect, connected devices for the mark of the beast system on your right hand or your forehead, according to Revelation 13. Because it will be a mark, it'll be a name, It'll be a number, so it'll be you know some kind of computer technology that Google, I believe, will place on your right hand or your forehead in the in, in the near future, because the, what Trump is saying is true, and Google. So thus, therefore, hence, Google promotes Obama, but not Trump. Google promotes Obama, but not Trump. Google promotes the Antichrist, Obama, but not Trump. So it doesn't take it doesn't take much thinking. Uh, to connect the dots. Therefore, Google is promoting the Antichrist system and the Antichrist. Therefore, Google, this worldwide search engine, U.S. government, military, industrial complex uh, system run by the Vatican in, in, in reality, uh, is the mark of the beast system, which will be fully implemented after the next rapture. People say, was well, the mark of the beast out right now? No. But is Google the foundation and the matrix of the mark of the beast system? Yeah, sure it is. Sure it is. Well, you're talking about the mark of the beast. It's 666. It's a number. So what do you think a computer language is? Numbers? <laughs> Letters? <laughs> very, very interesting. Very, so, I, I, you know, you got you to add these, you know. And put these together and look at us. Take a step back and look at all this information. Here's one from Axios.com. Trump rages against fake everything. I love this article. I know these articles aren't perfect. But if you can discern what they're saying and discern what in the article what's correct and what's not. Here's one, uh, Axios.com. President Trump raged on Twitter today against the totally dishonest media. Lashing out at the heads of NBC and CNN, well, they're government run, turning to uh, also to fake books. It's true. The big picture, his tweet storm, they say, comes after continued attacks on Google. I love this. Trump attacks Google because usually Google attacks everybody else. Trump attacks Google and other big tech giants for allegedly silencing conservative voices, Christian voices. But Trump. For Trump, it's not just fake news anymore. He's waging war on fake everything. Well, hallelujah, finally somebody does. And they put different headlines. They're saying uh, fake news headlines. Here's fake books, fake Google searches, fake social media. I love it. You know, the Bible is confirms this. Uh, in, in the Apostle Paul's writing in the Bible in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, it says verse 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, you could throw in there. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7 to 12. It says, For the mystery, the secret of sin, of iniquity, does already work. It's already working. 
the forces of darkness for 6,000 years have tried to take over the planet. The new world order. Only he who now lets or restrains will restrain until he be taken out of the way. This is talking about the next rapture. It's talking about the body of Christ. He. Uh, some people say that well, the Holy Spirit will be taken from the earth. The Holy Spirit will never be taken from the earth. No. Duh. The Holy Spirit will never be taken from the earth. No. The Holy Spirit was here before man was created, and the Holy Spirit will be here uh, before the rapture, after the rapture, during the great tribulation, and beyond. You can't even get born again without the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Born of the Spirit. He that's born of the Spirit is Spirit. Until he be taken out of the way. So the, the, the born again spirit filled people resist the Antichrist until they're taken in the next rapture. Verse 8 Then that sh and then shall that wicked, talking about Obama, shall be revealed. He comes back into power for 42 months, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth at the battle of Armageddon. Obama will be destroyed by Jesus at the battle of Armageddon and Pope Francis, by the way, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. That's what I just said. Uh, verse 9, oh, even, even him, Obama, whose coming is after the working of Satan and the false prophet, which is Pope Francis, with all power and signs and lying, lying Google searches, fake news, lying wonders. Verse 10, with all deceivableness, that, that's what Trump's talking about, all deceivableness, all deception, Fake books, fake media, fake Google searches. <laughs> With all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth. Is this not a fight of good versus evil? Truth versus uh, fake news? Sure it is. They might be saved. Verse 11, so if you don't want the truth, fine, go to Google. And for this, God, for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. If you don't want the truth, you get deluded. You get deceived. That they should believe a lie. That they should believe a lie, fake news. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth. This is all what it's about. You got the new world order pushing deception. So people will fall in line with their one world order. Because if you're born again, spirit filled, spirit -filled your sins are washed away, you're, you're, you're blessed of God, you're at peace, you're prosperous, you're protected, you don't want to join the new world order. You don't want to join some kind of demonic en entity. So that's what the, the greatest uh, enemy of the New World Order is the born again, spirit filled Christian on the earth. Those that hear and do the Bible by the Holy Spirit, not religion. Religion is, is, is part of the deep state New World Order. Ephesians 5.11 says, And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of Google, <laughs> of darkness, but rather reprove them. I love that. Expose them. And that's what Trump's trying to do. And that's what we all should do on a daily basis. That's why I have over 3,000 videos. And that's why I, I, I come on doing three shows a day and posting 24-7 on social media. Matthew 20, it's not going to last a long time, no. This, this window of opportunity is going to close after the next rapture, which is soon upon us. Yeah. Matthew 24, 11, and many false prophets, many false media outlets, many false books, Many false uh, engine search, Google searches. What's the headlines they use? Many false fake news, many false books, many false Google searches, many false social media articles shall rise. Matthew 24, 11. Many false prophets, same thing, shall rise and shall deceive many. Jesus talked about this in the last days, Matthew 24, 11. All right, back to this article here about Trump. They're really blasting this. Fake news, CNN. Uh, this is, I guess this, these are quotes from uh, Trump against different organizations. Okay, here's Trump against CNN. The hatred and extreme bias of me has clouded their thinking and made them unable to function. This is Trump saying about CNN on the headline of fake news. On CNN, President Jeff Zucker, uh, this is what Trump said. Little Jeff Z has done a terrible job. His ratings suck. AT&T should fire him to save credibility. NBC, Trump said against them, what's going on at CNN? What's going on at CNN is happening, I mean, at other networks, with NBC News being the worst. Oh! You know, the Goliaths of evil can run and scream and tell you that you're nothing, like Goliath did to David. But you know what David did? David went back and shouted, David, King David, at Goliath. And this is what Trump does. You say, oh, well, he shouldn't say anything. Well, David said something against Goliath. 
And David cut Goliath's head off. Oh, on NBC News Chairman Andy Lack, Trump said, Andy Lack or Lackey is about to be fired for his incompetence and much worse. Trump tweeted Thursday that his daughter Ivanka and her husband Jared Kushner had nothing to do with the so-called pushing out of Don McGahn. The fake news media loved to portray chaos in the White House. The backdrop, Trump himself confirmed Axios reporting that McGahn was leaving, but the Washington Post reported that the move came amid tensions between McGahn and, and Javanka, or Jared and Ivanka. <laughs> And on the headline of fake books, think Amarosa and Michael Wolff, who both needed uh, or needled Trump with books loaded with juicy criticism. Trump went after the media in January after Wolff's book was released, saying the continued coverage promoted the fake book of, de of a deranged author. Quote, Trump said, I just cannot state strongly enough how totally dishonest much of the media is. Truth doesn't matter to them. They only have their hatred and agenda. This includes fake books, which come, which come out about me all the time. Always anonymous sources, pure fiction, enemy of the people. Love it. Then Trump went after Google by name. And Google's run by who? The U.S. government and the CIA. And it goes back to the Vatican and the Jesuits. Yeah. Trump went after Google by name uh, Tuesday saying the site has been rigged for me and others. Rigged. I, really, it's against them, I should say, and others, so that almost all stories and news is bad against them, yeah. He said Google search results for Trump news shows only the viewing reporting of fake news media. In other words, they have rigged uh, well, for me and others so that almost all stories and news is bad. Fake CNN is prominent Republican, conservative, and fair media shut out, making it illegal. 96% of results on Trump news are from national left-wing media. Very dangerous. Google and others are suppressing voices of conservatives and hiding information and news that is good. It's true. I believe that. We can all see it. They are controlling what we can and cannot see. This is a very se serious situation that will be addressed. And under the head heading of fake social media, Trump is working to convince his supporters that social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter are not to be trusted. Well, it's true. Last time I checked, the Bible says have faith in God, not have faith in Facebook. Now we use Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, Twitter, uh, YouTube, etc., etc. Why not? Oh, they want us not to be the salt and the light of the earth in Christ Jesus. They want us to, oh, no, don't, don't get involved. But should we trust them? Oh, no. So we get on social media, all of us should, and print the articles and that Google and these other entities won't print or post. Trump is working to convince his supporters that social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter are not to be trusted. Yeah. Trump claimed yesterday that big tech is trying to silence a very large part of the country. True. And don't forget, these are not independent, or independent owned or independently run organizations. These are deep state U.S. government and Vatican and Jesuit controlled entities. Trump says, I love to do it. But what? I would prefer is take one of the two Silicon Valley conservatives and let them start it, and then I'd help promote the platform and and be all over that. You got what you got, right? I just I I I think this stuff is amazing. That's coming up. They want to hide. They don't like uh, the, new, the New World Order and these media outlets. They don't like to be spotlighted. Oh, that, that, they, like to, they like to spot everybody else, but they don't want to be under the, under, under the spotlight. Google denies Trump's claim. Uh, Google says Trump's biased claims are not true. <clears throat> the U.S. government, the CIA... <laughs> now here's other ones I mentioned coming up. Here's one on TheVerge.com. Senator Orrin Hatch asks the FTC to investigate Google after Trump bias attacks. In your face. I love it. I need to have this. We need to have the 24-7. They need to be looked at, 
these social media outlets, Google, people that are behind the internet, who's running the internet, these played it, they need to be watched. Sure. Senator Orrin Hatch is telling the FTC to investigate Google, investigate the government, the CIA, really, after Trump's biased attacks. Senator Orrin Hatch, Utah, right, has asked the Federal Trade Commission to investigate potential anti-competitive effects on Google search. While you're at it, all the other ones, too. And digital advertising practice shortly after President Trump made several unfounded or false claims. They're not unfounded or false. The pre you think the president of the U.S. doesn't know what he's doing? Sure he does. They just don't like his findings. Several claims about anti-conservative bias on Google search. It's true. You know, I, I, over the years, I remember China, the government of China, really kicking Google out of their country. And I think, uh, if you type in, let me see here, Google China. If, the, if Google is run by the CIA and the, and the Vatican and the New World Order, they want to be in every country, right? Here's one 18 hours ago. Why China is a no-go land for Google. Oh! Google safeguard rights in China. Or, world's leading human rights group tells Google to cancel its China censorship plan. So Google still wants to be in China. So they're going to try to say, well, we're going to change it for you so we don't spy on it. Because, listen, China knows that Google is government run. Leading rights groups call on Google not to censor its search engine in China. So they're going to make a special one for China. But why didn't China want Google before? Because they China knows that Google is government run and spies on everybody. And, and, and et cetera, et cetera, like I mentioned earlier. Here's one from Washington Post. Google is on the verge of making a huge mistake with China. I think this is just disinformation. I think this is just a reverse psychology. And these groups are saying, well, China is, you know, terrible at, at, at human rights and has human rights violations. Yeah, what about the CIA? What about the CIA run wars around the world? That actually controls Google. You know, the CIA has killed more people than China and, and anybody else put together. Sure. Who actually brought communism into China in the first place? The Vatican did. And the, and the Vatican brought communism to China. And the Vatican runs the wars around the world now. And the Vatican runs the CIA. Then who's really killing the people? Oh, no. Ch uh, Google will do whatever it can to get itself into China. Oh, well, do whatever you want, China, because they want to, there's one and a half billion people over there that they want to have for the Mark of the Beast system. Leading rights groups call on Google not to censor its search engine in China. No, 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 that's not the issue. <laughs> Google, the deep state, Google wants to be in China to, 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 to implement the Mark of the Beast system at the right time, which will happen at the, after the next rapture. Yeah, because they don't have enough power to do it now. Because there's too many born-again spiritual Christians on the earth now. Praying and obeying and hurting and, and resisting them. I read that in Paul's writings in the Bible. Inside Google's plan to launch a censored search engine in China. There you go. Why? Why would Google even want to be there? Exactly. And if China was really smart, they'd say no to Google. Yeah. But you have to be awake and unplugged from the matrix. And China's not really totally unplugged from the matrix. They don't like the matrix, but they're still part of it. You can be in the matrix in the matrix and of the matrix and not like it, but still be part of it. You have to unplug yourself to see that Google is this mark of the beast system. Yeah. Google tried to, here's one from New York Times. Google tried to change China. China may end up changing Google. Uh, if China was really smart, it would say no to Google. Get, get, yeah, and the fight over Google's China project, a battle for the company. So not really. This is not the issue. They'll never tell you this, but this is not the real issue. Google just wants to get in there to be ready to control the billion and a half Chinese. 
just saying. Hatch sent FTC Chairman uh, Joseph Simmons a letter today in which he expressed concern about recent reports on Google search and digital advertising practices. Hatch's letter cites a variety of disquieting reports. He mentions a, a May 60 Minutes segment that highlighted Google's massive size and power over the web companies. Hello! As well as July controversy over third-party app developers who were given access to Gmail message content. Uh, he also mentioned that Google has decided to remove from its platform legal businesses that the company apparently does not agree with. Sounds like censorship and uh, the mark of the beast system to me. Which could be a reference to Google blocking gun sales from its shopping platform, blocking ads from dis uh, disreputable drug and alcohol treatment centers, or simply banning YouTube channels. Hello! European Union antitrust regulators fined Google $5 billion last month, which is, which is a drop in the bucket for them for abusing its Android market dominance. Oh, and Hatch has previously asked FTC about its interest in following up on the EU's Google investigations. He's far from the only lawmaker who's critical of Google's potentially mon uh, monopolistic power. Oh, love it. The timing of this letter, it hit, it hit, uh, at the timing of this letter, hits extremely close to Trump's repeated attacks on Google. Earlier this week, Trump claimed without evidence that the company search engine was artificially promoting left-wing media. Without evidence, everybody knows what's going on. Trump said that Google and other platforms were, and other platforms were trying to silence the very large, a very large part of this country. Of course they are. So I'm going to leave it there at that. I like it. So I was going to do a video on McCain snubbing the greatest president possibly in U.S. history, Donald Trump, and his former running mate, Sarah Palin, which I think is ridiculous. <clears throat> but when you're part of the New World Order, what do you know? You know, it's sad that people are blind before they die, and their blindness continues after they're, after they're gone. <laughs> Sarah Palin, one of, the, one of the most beautiful and amazing women in, the, in, in, in U.S. history, yeah, people people laugh at her at her at her being dumb. What are you crazy? How can you be dumb dumb when you love Jesus? How can you be dumb when you're born again, spirit filled, and praying in tongues? That's why her and her family's been attacked over the years. Sure, the best thing about the McCain Palin ticket was Palin, and McCain had the audacity to say earlier, I think it was this year in May, that he regretted having Sarah Palin as his running mate. <laughs> you were blessed, McCain, to have Sarah Palin. The only good thing you had going for you was Sarah Palin. <laughs> but the elections are rigged. And McCain, being part of the Matrix, was just gonna, he was called to take a dive for Obama. Obama's the Antichrist. The New World Order already selected Obama. And they just play out a rigged election process for his two terms. Sure. And they wanted to keep him in. But they could. The New World Order really thought that Obama would bring down the U.S. and domino affect the economies around the world. But they didn't understand the Bible prophecies that the Antichrist would come into power in Revelation 13, get kicked out of power, and come back into power for 42 months. Yeah. Shoulda, coulda, woulda known that. So they tried to bring in Hillary Clinton to, to at least keep the boat going forward in the New World Order direction. But you have this billionaire unpolitician tries for his first time to become president and becomes president in their face. And they'll never get over it. But they know the Bible prophecies now are coming to pass quicker than ever, ever before and more abundant. And they know that Trump has been picked by the Lord Jesus to resist the New World Order. Probably up to the next rapture. High probability. Yep. Yeah. Alright, I'm out of here. Let's pray. Follow the name of Jesus. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your spirit. Continue your mighty work against the beast system. Continue, continue your mighty resistance against the new world order. Cause people on the earth to wake up and get out of the matrix. Get out of the sin matrix. Get out of the Google matrix. Get out of <laughs> the Vatican matrix. <laughs> Before it's too late. Thank you, Father. Bless your people on the earth. Let your kingdom come and you will be done on earth as in heaven. Every day in Jesus' name, amen. I love it. All right, wake up. And stay awake. Get born again. Stay born again. Jesus, wash my sins away. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Get in the Bible and do it. And I have over 3,000 videos. You can see them and linked on my website, darylawson.com.
to help you go forward. Understand quickly what's going on. Quickly. All right. <laughs> and take a quick break here and then come back and do another show. Let's see all my videos. Pass this video on to other people. People need to get the information. We need to work together hand in hand to, to get the videos out. My videos are going into every country on the earth. Over 195 countries my videos are going into every day, every week, every month. Yeah, I'm serious. I get the analytics back from YouTube. Yeah. Oh, why do you use YouTube? Why do you use Facebook? Why do you use all these social media outlets? Why not? Can I drive a car from a secular company? <laughs> Chevrolet is, is uh, last time I checked, wasn't the Apostle Paul, but I still, I still have a Camaro. <laughs> if I can drive a Camaro, I can sure drive YouTube, yeah. Or Facebook or whatever else, yeah. What's in your hand? Use it, my friend. We, our days are numbered. We don't have many days left before, before the return of Jesus Christ to the planet. All right, I'm out of here. I will see you later. Thanks for your prayers and financial support, by the way. I have a donation button on my website, darylost.com. God will bless you for it according to his word, the Bible, Malachi chapter 3, verses 8 to 12. I love you. I'll see you later. Darylost.com. God bless you. Pass the video on. Bye for now.